It's a normal size sedan, but... For which radio functions do you want help? Save station. Select station. Cancel! Radio info. <laughs> Cancel! Shut up! Wave. We've got the Merc C-Class Coupe on our team test um, this week. It's the 220D. Uh, this is the Edition 1, which is basically a limited time production. So they don't say they're going to create 100 and that's it. They're going to, I think, uh, produce them for six months. And in that time, you can buy an Edition 1 if you want to. So we both quite like the car, but um, there have been a few things, particularly to do with the looks, yeah. that we've disagreed slightly on so what we thought we'd do is take the car somewhere um, well to do yeah let's say let's say well to do and and go and ask just find some people go and ask them what they think about the, the car the most controversial part is the back so I think no, it should be standing but it is it's really nice and sleek though I think you it's going to appeal to it's, it's going to appeal to a lot of people um, yeah I probably will because it looks like an S class coupe but no you I mean See, this is your looks, this is, no, this is your opinion. It just doesn't we look need to, We need to ask to be, these guys. Let's ask these guys. Guys. So we're testing the new C-Class Coupe. Um, we've got the diesel on, on test. And we just wanted to ask what your opinion on the car is. Do you want to come have a look at it? See what it's, see what it's like? This is the new, cool. new C-Class, but it's in Coupe format. So we've just been discussing effectively the looks. And Miles has been saying that He's not a huge fan of the way that the car slopes and, and sweeps down like that. And whereas I'm saying I think it will appeal to to quite a few different different people. So, I don't know, what, what, what do you guys think? Well, it's very uh, visually appealing in the front, which is yeah. like standard on the Mercedes. But the back, I don't really like it. You're not, you're not a fan of the back? Well, I'm not what? a fan of and the back. It's, really? <laughs> okay. it's the first thing you see, it's super <laughs> yeah. long. Yes. Well, it's, effect it's effectively the same size as the normal, the normal C class. Yeah. It's oh, just really? a two, yeah, it's exactly the same length and so on. It's just you've now got two doors instead of your four. Okay. Um, so if you actually look inside, looks like if you look inside, you can see that the back okay. has a fair like number. Like a jag. Oh, yeah. So it's yeah. like a jag. Yeah. It is it like is a jag. Really, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's very really nice, eh? Yeah. What do you think of the the two tone on the seat? With um, the blue, with the yeah. blue. Uh, that is cool. No, I don't I know. Like I don't know if I like it. <laughs> the question is, how fast does it go? Well, I think we'll have to go for a drive then. Okay. Are you guys, are you guys keen for a drive? Yeah, I'm keen for a drive. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's no, go for a drive. <laughs> All right. With the back. Yeah, I know for sure. Okay, let's get going. But why did it? Why is it coming with two doors? Why can it come? It does. Well, it does come the, no, the, no, the normal C class is the four door, and then this one is the like. So the idea is this is meant to be the super stylish, Lani one for people who need, who need the the four doors or the four seats every now and again, but don't necessarily need four doors on a on a daily basis. In terms of like uh, cost, cost the same. Uh, yeah, this coupe is actually slightly more expensive than the um, than the four door equivalent. Obviously, it depends which what trim and f and uh, and options you take. But the coupe is traditionally slightly more. You guys in the back, how, how are the seats? So they're, they're yeah, really yeah, comfortable. Fine. Really and, uh, comfortable. there's a lot of spaces where I can stretch. And it's not there. like claustrophobic or anything. Yeah. And then there's sunroof. Is it a sunroof? It, it is a sunroof. Yeah. So it's full, fully retractable. Oh, and it switches off. It does. So yeah, it's got your full stop start. It's got the heads up display, so I can mm -hmm. see where I'm traveling and how fast I'm going. Just okay. looking through the windscreen. It's a really nice car. This it just like flows. It's yeah, the nice. the whole two tone thing. Are you guys a fan of two tone? Not, or? Not, I don't think I am a fan of two tone. And not this color particularly. So yeah. not the brown. Maybe, not yeah, the maybe brown. not the no. brown. If it was say like a cream and a black, or yeah, a cream and a brown work. or something, that would, would that totally be? work. Yeah. Okay. Or like a red and a black, you know? Okay. Because yeah. brown is not nice. Red and black's quite in your in your face. In your face. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not quite a super red. Like, yeah, tone down a bit. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> a toned down ring. Uh, I think it's a BMW. One of these. Yes, the has, BMW. Has the red. And yes. that looks nice and it's not bright. Really. It's very nice. It's so comfortable. Yeah, it is very. This, that's the thing I've really noticed about this car. It's super quiet, super comfortable. It's brilliant for cruising along. Yeah, and a long trip will not be a problem with this. How's the finishing here? Yes, the finishing is amazing. These these um, speakers yeah, in the car, that's those really are cool. those are really cool. I don't even know what button you pressed. <laughs> no, I don't know why I pressed the button. Well, leave it. I don't you know said why. I'm going to get injected. <laughs> <laughs> leave it. Just leave stopped. Me. There's one here. Let me hold your hand. There, that, that's what happened. Oh, oh okay. So okay. you want to hold my hand, and if you go, you take yeah, it with me. Exactly. Okay, I'm just going to park that. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Uh, Devin, you want to get in the back? Uh, I can try, try if you want me to. Okay, I'm in. Why, thank you. There we go. That's handy. Fun fact, Merck has, Merck has been doing that since like the 80s. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you can tell how many Mercs I've owned. <laughs> <laughs> I think on a road trip, this wouldn't be too great for me. <laughs> How tall are you? Uh, six foot seven. Six foot seven. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so we can just about fit a six foot seven human being in the back. So what does everyone think of the interior? I like it. Yeah. It's very nice. I like the brown. One like the the two -tone oh, you like the blue stitching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Pam and Nadine weren't weren't terribly sold on it. You can also get it, it in purple if you want. <laughs> I like my blue. Get it in red. <laughs> It's got a 2.1 litre turbo diesel, which is actually quite quiet, you can't really hear it. Um, and it's got like 125 kilowatts. Probably. Uh, that was the accident warning. Yeah. Because we were works. just about to die. This is definitely a car for kids. <laughs> I think that yeah. is quite safe to say, yeah. I don't know how easy it would be getting a kid seat in the back. I was going to ask that. It's probably a fitting, <laughs> but it won't be easy to do. Well, this is in so this is in sport setting, and this is a good road to test comfort. Yeah, this is a horrible road. Yeah. So that's actually not too bad. I don't know how you guys are there. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. It's, it's alright. No, that's that's, 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 that's every now and again. <laughs> that's pretty damn comfy. Okay, so now we're in comfort mode, and as oh, you can geez. feel, it's just got a bit more sort of wafty. Yeah. It does definitely feel different. Yeah. yeah. So you usually leave it in comfort mode? Um, yeah, look, uh, the, there's actually an individual setting, which is quite nice. Um, what that lets you do is you can set up, I think there's three different settings. On. But anyway, there's three different things you can set up. One's uh, throttle response, basically, so how responsive your engine is. Uh, two is your steering weight, so you can make it light, not so light, and quite stiff. That's pretty cool. Um, and the other one is suspension. Um, you can make it hard or soft or. Uh, sure. I'd leave that on soft. Put the Probably. Put the no, throttle no, response up because I really do not like the throttle slow response. Throttle response. Yeah, exactly it's that. So uh, annoying. Uh, um, I'd leave everything in comfort except for the throttle response. Yeah. Because um, why would you even know. want the throttle response to be slow? Though? It's better for economy. Is it? Yeah, yeah because uh, you can like mash your foot down and um, yeah, the because it's a bit dopey on the throttle response, you won't use as much fuel. And then like cruise uh, control and stuff like that. Um, you can like actually get, yeah, stuff. you can get some pretty fancy cruise control in these things um, that will monitor your following distance. So it'll keep it at. Uh, there's a few different sort of settings. You can make it super far or quite close. Um, and and it'll break. Speed. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it'll break for you to maintain that gap. All right. You can also get a system that'll keep you inside your lane. Oh, okay. So yeah, it'll sort of cool. steer for you. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's very cool. Especially in traffic. Um, under, I think it's 30 k's an hour, you don't have to touch the steering wheel at all. You can just let go and it'll... Oh yeah. Uh, yes. yeah. Very cool. Anything over that starts moaning every now and then when you're...
you aren't yeah, all the put on radio or something and then it'll do it. Oh yeah, okay, there's a big power button. Ah, oh, the power button. That's <laughs> probably it. probably does that. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Sure. Yeah, no worries. Thank, thank you. Yeah. So the other models available in this line are a 200, C200, and a C300, uh, both of which are petrol, yes. Yep. Um, and they are both just good old 2 litres, with turbos, obviously. Um, and the prices on those range from 550 uh, up to 660 for the C300. Right.